another round, and sir. Don't mind if I do. We are hanging, and sir. I do fire. Have we ceased life, sir? Hit. No, oh, thank goodness. I can't stand these dreadful people. <laughs> Hey guys, Clone Guy here, and today I have a video for you featuring bugs in World of Tanks. Um, video evidence! I'm not just gonna go out here and say, oh, so there's a bug here, there's a bug reported there, there's a bug there. No, 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 no. We are going to have video evidence for each and every bug that we state. Alright, if there are more bugs in the game, but I do not have video evidence of them, I will not be mentioning them. So these are just the ones that are in 4.12 right now now that have not been fixed some of them were in 4.11 as well but they have not been fixed they just got you know more stuff put on top of them this is for you wargaming i made this list just for you guys but before we get into the, this list i want to thank everybody for supporting operation overhaul we have quite a few by that i mean a ton of people including some um, content creators themselves who are going to be supporting this so that is pretty pretty awesome indeed so I'm really excited about that. Hopefully we can get this ball rolling. And so the first video during Operation Overhaul is just a list of bugs on video. So that way, you know, there, here is the evidence wargaming. So now you know we are having these bugs. So please and thank you, fix. I think we're going to start one that's very prevalent and has been in the game for a while, but is even worse nowadays. And that, of course, is the ghost shell. What I'm going to show you is a very recent ghost shell that happened during update 4.12. Um, so it is very relevant to us. And it is so obvious that it's a ghost shell. It kind of hurts my brain. Now I'm using the replay system to prove that this is, in fact, a ghost shell because the replay system is downloaded directly from the World of Tanks mercenary servers. So what we see in the replay is what the server sees. So I'm not sure how the server does not recognize this as a hit. It kind of blows my mind here. There's the shell. Look at that. How is this not a hit? I don't know. Of course, you know, it's artillery shooting at my teammate, so I'm not going to complain. But still, like, how, how did this not hit? These are the questions I have. Like, how is this not exactly fixed yet? I don't know. You know, it's been in the game forever. You would think the server, if it sees that, would be able to detect that it's been hit. So I don't know why that is how it is. And I'm not like a tech genius, and I don't really know much about coding and so on and so forth. Um, so, you know, I'm not going to try to speculate or try to figure out how this happened. But uh, there it is. There's one of them. Now we have the Amorak bug, which kind of has two things going for it. One is when you get hit in the Amorak, it resets the reload, which it just did. And the second is you can no longer fire. Um, yeah, and then that causes things like this. Now I believe the not being able to fire has been fixed for the Amoracking, but it still resets your reload when you get hit in the Amorak, which is kind of the dumbest thing ever. Um, yeah, it's, it's like, okay then, sure, um, reset my reload, why don't you? Yeah, that, that makes sense. That makes perfect sense. Uh, and that's another one that hasn't been fixed. But, uh, moving briskly on, let's jump into another one. This is a very prominent one as well. I mean, all of these are. This is the server latency shots. Alright, you have full bars, so you go to fire, and then, for some reason, the gun does not shoot when you want it to shoot. In fact, it shoots after you even zoom out, and then it comes out the side of your barrel, and it misses. Object 279, come around the corner. We have more DPM than him, and we can ammo rack him. There it is. Let... Can we watch that in slow motion again? We have full bars in the top left, and watch this. It doesn't even go anywhere near where our shell is aimed. Look at straight out the right side. It's insane. Full bars. Full. 100%. It's, you know, Wargaming says it's not them, it's us, but it's it's not us. It's you, okay? You gotta do something. Man up, okay? Now, I'm sure you have all had those games where you fire your gun, and f for some reason it just does not fly straight like and it's so constant you'll be fully aimed you're like where on earth did that shell go why did it 
do its very, very best to avoid the target I've been shooting at. And I've got a couple examples for you guys here, so don't you worry, we've got plenty of those. And it's right along the lines of the shot we just pulled off in the Conqueror, trying to shoot at the Object 279E. I think this goes very well with it. These are all in the Lancet C, one shot after the other. As you can see, just, the shells just try their best to miss. This is a poorly aimed shot, but I think we were closer to hitting because we aimed poorly. And then this last one is just like, how on earth is this one a miss? <laughs> it's ridiculous. These things are ridiculous. And that's just the Lance and C. I also have this clip, which I think most of you have seen in the 57 Heavy. That one fires low, misses, whatever. It's one shot. But then watch this. This is the ridiculous part here. Super Conqueror, standing still, almost standing still in front of my gun. Goes in way bottom right. I don't know how that went to the bottom right. Goes in the same exact spot. And it goes in the same exact spot. Every single one of those shots went to the same exact spot. Which is insane, and that's something I've been noticing. When you miss once, it seems like all your shells that miss go to that same spot. And it's like, what? How is that even possible? I don't know. Uh, but even the first shot on the 57 Heavy and that magazine went low right on the screen. And then all three of those shots went low right. It's pretty ridiculous. And, uh, yeah, anyway, this replay you're seeing in the background is actually way before update 4.12. So you don't have to worry about any of that in, in this one. This is before, before the dark times and the and the chieftain. So that's why my shells are actually going relatively straight. Yet again, I'm going to show the accuracy right here. There you go. There's a miss right there. And I know you guys have probably seen this one, but I'm showing it again anyway. This is just the accuracy. Ready? There's another miss. And you're thinking, all right, it's done. You know, you're going to hit him this time. For sure. He's standing still. You're an FV4202. Come on. Easy shot. Easy. Wait for the easy shot. No, of course not. It is truly unbelievable and i have a theory actually on why this may be the case one of my mad crazy theories all right so there are bots in this game okay world of tanks mercenaries has introduced bots into this game to play at the lower tiers to play in war stores and to even play in the commander mode the ones in the commander mode used to be awful. They didn't really do anything. They were useless to the team. You would almost always lose as the commander. And it was simple as that. But then they buffed them rather recently. I think it was in November, was it? They buffed them to the point where they just hit everything, including while you're unspotted, moving at 70 km an hour and banking in your ELC even 90. Yeah, it's ridiculous. The, the shots they can pull off. But for them to do that, they would have to make their shells be instant, because they can hit you while you're moving, and predict all your moves. Which, of course, a bot can't predict your moves, if you're zigging and zagging. I don't think it could be able to predict your moves, and yet, they are still hitting you. So I think they changed something into the aiming, or the shooting, so that bots will hit you instantaneously when they fire. And if that's the case, they might have messed up the codes for us, for the players who are shooting. And that might be why we're missing. Wargaming, if you're trying to figure out why on earth we're missing so much, take a look at your bot program. That might be it. All right, there you go. You're welcome. You can thank me uh, for my generous contribution, uh, you know, later. Actually, don't thank me. I don't care. Just fix it, and I'm happy. This next one is a bit of a new one, one that I've not seen before. And I'm playing in my T3485M. And, uh... I get hit in the turret ring, and when I get hit in the turret ring, it zooms me out and turns my camera to the left. Did you see that? Let's see that again in slow motion. We're gonna make this clip ultra slow. Here comes the AMX 12 ton. You ready? I'm aiming in front of him. He hits us in the turret ring. Did you see it jump to the left? Did you see that? My goodness, man. It is truly, truly a marvel. A spectacle to behold all these bugs in the game um, that just still aren't being fixed. It, it, it blows my mind. It really does. Next up are invisible tanks, which were in the game a long time ago, but I didn't th realize they were still a thing. Rage Adrenaline actually just shot an invisible machine there. He is there. And he killed him. Do you see in the, the left? Aims up the shot at somebody invisible. Kills him. The machine. Invisible. Now, I haven't seen this as the player yet. I've only ever seen it as a spectator, but it's only a matter of time until this probably actually happens in the game. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if it does or has already happened in the game. Um, so that's something else that needs to get fixed, or it's going to cause a lot of problems later on if you keep adding things on top of it instead of fixing what's broken already. Now, this next one, I don't know if it's a bug or not, but we have two chances to shoot this Firefly, and that one just bounces off. We have 268 millimeters of penetration. 
And both those shots bounce off of a tank with 50 millimeters of armor. So, like I said, I don't know if that's a bug with the RNG, which I wouldn't be surprised considering shells are, you know, hitting outside your circle. Or it was just really, really bad RNG, which, you know, I probably got. Let's be real. I want to show it off anyway in case something like that has been happening to you guys. You guys can confirm it or deny it, whatever. Um, you know, we can go from there. But uh, I decided to show it off anyway. But uh, this next one is so obvious there that I'm surprised it has not yet been fixed. And that's the one where... When you exit out of your team list, it will use your large repair kit or small repair kit or whatever you have uh, that's bound to your B key or whatever it is on PlayStation 4. I went to War Stories to grab you an example. There you go. My track is damaged. I'm going to open up my large minimap and exit and it repairs everything. And that's really frustrating, especially when you only have orange tracks. The next one is where your tank just does not respond, which did happen to me. Uh, and I was sitting there like... What? What just happened? Why couldn't my tank shoot? What What just happened? But I could not quite... The recording I had didn't make it look like that that's what happened. And so I'm just like, yeah, maybe I just went crazy and it didn't actually happen to me. But then somebody sent me a clip of it happening to them. This clip is so obvious that something is wrong, it hurts. And some of you may blame lag, but I can assure you this is not lag. And there's proof that it's not lag because the enemy team is still driving around shooting him. Here comes the object 27, they're 257. His gun will not shoot and his tank will not move. But the tank is still driving at him, aiming at him, shooting at him. Um, look at him. He's, and he can still switch ammo. But nothing's happening. And hello, says the 257. I wonder if the 257 can see him moving his turret at all. Like, that's ridiculous that that happened. And that's a thing because it's happened to me twice now and he said that that's happened to him twice now so this isn't some random thing like oh well, it's only gonna happen once no it's apparently happening to people and maybe you don't notice because maybe it only happens when you're about to die and you die for it and you think oh it's just a little bit of lag but right there he was still full health so you got to see the full effect of this thing happening to him we are not done yet we have another one sent in by lovely calf and yet again another new one i've never seen before He's scrolling through, selecting his tanks, and they're readying up, but they're not going into the game. What? How is this even... I don't know. I don't know. It's just... Welcome to World of Tanks Mercenaries. Update 4.12, guys. The bugs right now are... Out of control. They are simply... Out of control. You know, that's it. Simple. And... Maybe there are more bugs, but even if there aren't more bugs, and those are the only bugs in the game right now, which I guarantee there are still more. Like, that's an unhealthy amount. That is an, an amazingly unhealthy amount of bugs in the game right now. Wargaming, there's your evidence, okay? It's all captured on film. You cannot deny those bugs now. Uh, so please, oh please, do something about it before you introduce a new update, an update which brings more th content into the game. Please fix what's here now. Please, oh please, because um, it's it's unhealthy at this point. It is unhealthy. If you need to hire some contracted, you know, coders, then do it. You said yourself, you guys have so much money right now that you you'll last the next two years without making any money. Like you don't need to make money for the next two years, and you can last that long. So that tells us that you have plenty of money. So please, you know, hire a contractor or something to get this fixed. If if you don't have what's what you have, you, you know, if you don't have what's capable um, in your staff. But there you go, there are some bugs. And maybe you have more. If you do have more bugs, list them in the comments section below, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, let me know which bug has been annoying you the most with this update. And I'll be seeing you guys all later. Take care, everyone. And peace out.